Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an exciting video and this is a Project Pan Pan products that I have hit pan on and these are in like pan form. It's not like a tube or anything where you can see the side, the windows, you know. So these are actually pans and I'm really excited because I have a lot. Maybe you could tell from the thumbnail. It's a lot and um, I have been very good at hitting pan on the stuff and not so good at finishing up stuff. This is a requested video and I do them kind of every half year, six months ish. I think I made one in the fall time so I guess it was appropriate for me to do an update. And there are some empties since last time and there are a lot of new pants. So that's exciting in my mind. I'm going to start out with this one. This is an old product in this project. It project wow a video. It has been here for a long time. It is the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder for lighter skin. There's a big pan, but the pan has expanded, which is nice. I have been using it for the last week because I was going to have time to repress some stuff that was in the project. This is uh, the bronzer and that is a good size pan because this product is, there's a lot of product in here, 15 grams of bronzer, so that's a lot. The next one is my Hoola bronzer by Benefit and I just put this in a project. Um, I have filmed it but it's not up yet, uh, I think. In the end of April it will be up. But yeah, this is the Hoola bronzer by Benefit. I have a good pan in this and... I will be focusing on this when um, another bronzer that I will show you in a minute is done. Okay, I have this eyeliner. It's a gel eyeliner. It is from L'Oreal. It is the Gel Intensa Eyeliner in Pure Black. It comes in with this gold, gold, gold packaging. So as you can see, I have a good size pan here. I have about a third done. I was going to say left, but that's a lie. It's very hard to show because it's black, but yeah, you can definitely see the pan here. And then we have a uh, Vaseline. I'm not sure how you pronounce that in English, but uh, Clear Vaseline. It's a very nice one. I use this every single night and I have a good pan on it. Yeah, using it and my boyfriend actually have some. I did depot a little bit into a small jar that he could use in his bedside table because he sometimes not always but sometimes he wants a lip balm or something and then i thought there's so much product in this so i can just give him some to him there are 40 grams in this big container so i will never run out of lip balm um yeah let's take some single shadows shall we this is the p2 the future is my eternal star mono eyeshadow it is this one i had it in a project a while back and then I hit some pan right there. This is a beautiful eyeshadow. A new pan this round is the Essence eyeshadow. It's a single. Writing is rubbing off but it is just a white shimmer shadow. I mix this in with my highlighter and sometimes in my inner corner. I had this in my single ladies and my man mattes so that is why I hit pan on that one. And yeah, it's called Snowflake. So this is a beautiful eyeshadow. And again, it can be multitask, which is really nice. Then we have this set thing. <laughs> this is the Catrice White Eyeshadow Single in Eyes Wide Open. Yeah, there's pen. And I wanted to show you guys before <laughs> I was going to repress it. So as you can see, it's uh, completely cracked. But there's pen. Let's take my smaller C palette. This uh, I'm going to show you this eyeshadow right here. It is a Maybelline eyeshadow, eyeshadow single in Copper Fizz. So I have some good size pen right there. I have thought about decluttering that product because it's not my favorite at all. 
Then we have my W7 concealer palette. It is got a covered. Is it, it's called got a covered. <laughs> that is how it's looking like. Good size amount of pen in the correct. I finished the yellow one since last time. And I'm almost done with the two lightest shades in the top. And I hit pen on one of the medium shades. And let's just take this. This is the W7 in the City Neto Nudes. I don't know if this counts anymore because I depotted the ones that um, had pen. But yeah, I depotted those into small singles. I have one of them in this small one right here. That one. Uh, I use that for my brows. So yeah, these two are I finished and then these three are brow products for me at least and then this I don't know if I want to use but I'm keeping the packaging until I finish those three colors so I can call this done. We are on to eyeshadow palettes. This is a new one and this is quite exciting. It is the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. It is the NYX Ultimate Brights eyeshadow palette which was my pan palette for the first three months of the 2019 so I had two new pans which is so exciting. The light green and the pink. So yeah, that is really exciting in my mind. Then we have the MDK Gwen Stefani face palette that I'm working on this year. And I have Massive Pan in the bronzer and in the highlighter as you can see. And I wanted to show this, these pans before I was going to repress them very very soon. So those two are new pans. And next time I'm going to update you. I hope I'm done with those two. Too Faced Chocolate Bar. I was trying to pan this in 2018 and I got very far. I have some pans right here and I have uh, one, two, three, four less pans in this because I repressed Salted Caramel Hot Chocolate, Kimberly and Hazelnut. Um, maybe Hot Chocolate, Hazelnut, I can't remember. But yeah, I have some decent amount of pan in this. Almost in every single shade except semi sweet and go to ganache, but yeah. That's so awesome. It still smells like chocolate, which is so nice. Then we have the Balm Bomb Jovi Rockstar palette. And I have pan on Metallica. I finished the highlighter. I believe no I, I did I finished it before. I don't remember. And then I departed the two blushes. I finished uh, yeah, I finished the nude cream blush and then I have departed the red blush into the smaller C palette that is the red one right there. So hopefully by next time I update you guys on my pan one I will have pan on the cream blush. Then we have my Makeup Revolution Ultra Pro Go Ultra Pro Glow <laughs> a highlighting palette. I have pan on three shades and that has not changed since last time. I have not used it since last time. I really want to. I really want to use the darker ones in the summertime. So maybe I will do that. But yeah, three pans right there. A new one in here. New pan. It is the Blush Tribe Paulina palette. I have worked on Aubergine for the last three, four months. And I have a small bit of pan right there, which is so exciting. This is a beautiful palette. It's so creamy and pigmented. They have talked about restocking this palette, bringing it back because it was limited edition over uh, Christmas, uh, December and January. So if you have the chance, pick it up. It's so beautiful and it's so Paulina, these colors. They're so beautiful. Two palettes left. One is my C palette. I only have one pan um, in this and that is a Quitty Catrice. Catrice Single Shadow, the one right here. And yeah, on that, no pan, but I have plans for this palette. I do. And this, the last palette I have to show you guys is also a new one. It is from Morphe and it is the 35OM palette. It is my Panda palette and the uh, matte palette I'm trying to uh, pan in. Uh, my Man Matte and Single Ladies project. So I have pen in the cream shade right there and in this brown one right there. I'm working on these for my eyebrows and I'm focusing on this one for my crease as well. I love this palette so much. Um, it's definitely growing on me. 
not the best one but it's really nice that was all my pants i hope you guys enjoyed this pen porn video i'm so excited about all my pants i really want to finish some up and i think i can finish some of them the concealer palette will be uh, one that are almost done by next uh, time i update you guys on this and then hopefully just some other pants i don't really have big big plans for some of these but some of them will be done for sure so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a like subscribe down below and check out my other my other product pants on this channel because i do a lot and most of these are in those projects so you can follow along over there if you want to see my progress on those items and yeah until my next video i hope you're going to take care and uh, i see you later bye